What was your initial reaction when you heard that there would be a companion uh, piece to The Walking Dead? In other words, were you a fan of the show? Um, I, I hadn't watched the show um, when I first heard about the job. Uh, when I looked at the pilot, I was surprised, honestly, at how amazing it was because it's not usually a genre that I was initially attracted to or um, uh, really even aware of, I guess. Um, I just heard you know, word of how successful The Walking Dead was. Uh, but when I read the pilot, it was clear that it was so much more about um, the dynamics between family and, and also how characters will change in this kind of world and what they're willing to do, which I found so intriguing and exciting to portray. Um, but then when I did find out about the gig, I watched The Walking Dead and binged watched about four seasons in two weeks. <laughs> so I definitely became a bit of a fan after that. So how did you exactly got involved, get involved into uh, Fear the Walking Dead? What's the story behind it? Um, well, I heard about it from my representatives and they sent me an audition. Um, I actually was previously working on a pilot for AMC um, a little bit before that uh, and it, it didn't work out and so when I heard about this I was like oh maybe like I can go in and and you know it I went into the audition and I knew quite a few of the faces and it I think if anything else it just kind of relaxed me a little bit. Suddenly they weren't blank faces, they were, you know, people that I'd just seen before, not that I had you know, much interaction with them, but it, it became less about um, the uncomfortable quality of an audition room or, uh, you know, being put on the spot and it became so much more just about the content and and having fun and enjoying the audition so I think that really helped essentially um, but yeah then I went for the audition and then you go through the typical procedure of then you know a callback and then chemistry reads and then a test and and it's very long drawn out and and um, nerve-wracking experience but I'm just glad it all kind of worked out Really? Yeah, me too. <laughs> and, uh, the second half of the second season is on its way and I'm sure you cannot really reveal anything about it but uh, maybe at least you can make some promises, I mean, what we are going to see. Yeah, I mean, for Alicia specifically, uh, she we get to see her really take control of um, herself for a change. She uh, becomes much more uh, of an individual in the second half she's making more of her own choices and um, decisions as a leader and not just as you know part of the family and that's really great to see and I think hopefully audiences will be excited to see her emerge um, f from being kind of the teenager in the first season then to making mistakes in the first half with the radio and um, clinging on to past ideals and then finally in the second half coming more into her own and really seeing her adapt to this world which I think is really exciting. And you are in Mexico right now mm -hmm. so how does that change the dynamics I mean storytelling wise? Yeah I mean I think it changes our storytelling quite a lot it informs uh, very different s themes than we've explored before I think there's um, a lot more uh, exploration with superstition and um, kind of cultural traditions and religion um, that we're exploring and also of course it's very visually different you know it's it's sun drenched and we're surrounded by the ocean uh, and all those qualities make it quite a different experience for us. And the very last question if you ever met Rick Grimes and the gang what would you say to them? protect me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'd be scared of them, I think. I mean, as my character, I think that is a very intimidating group to come across. They've very well adapted for this new world, and I think our characters are only just seeing the beginnings of it. Yeah. <laughs>